What's up everyone? Pope John here with your Paleon tutorial. As simple as it is, there are still things that you need to know to get started. All right, the first thing we're going to point out up here in our top left corner is what day we're on and how many total settlers we have. So right now we have three settlers, one, two, three, they're all naked, and the day, and we're going to unpause it here. And once we unpause it, you'll see that the earth starts to move just a little bit as we speed it up. Play. You can fast forward two times, you can fast forward three times, and you can pause. All of these will come into play at some point. Up here in the top right corner, you'll see where it tracks our progress points. Now the progress points help us unlock the technology. So we're gonna click on this light bulb here and that will open up our technologies page. Now you can see all the different eras that are broken down here, Paleolithic, Mesolithic, Neolithic, so on and so forth, all the way up to the Middle Ages, which is one of the newer things that they've, they've put in since their last update. This little button, which is grayed out right now because I, I haven't advanced at all, but as each settler advances in different technologies as far as weaponry, building, uh, gathering those kind of things they will upgrade to different weapons different items those kind of things now right beside it is our ration menu so you can decide who wants to eat the most of what do they want some raw fish or do they want some grapes or peas or any of that all of them uh, carry almost the same value for the most part now our flatbread and our cheese carry the highest value I guess nutrition wise, I don't know how that would be. So, uh, but then also look at the happiness. It's important to keep your settlers happy and eating keeps them happy. Obviously, if they have to eat raw meat and raw fish, that will not make them happy. The cheese and the flatbread make them the most happy. Next thing we're gonna go to is our settler task list. Now, this is broken down to felling trees, gathering, mining, digging, hauling, building, crafting, farming, hunting, fishing, supplying, and ranching. Now we're gonna move to the bottom left-hand side. These are our different items to build. So here's our floor. We have a basic path and a stone path. This only allows for different creatures, whether it be settlers or animals, to move faster. We also have our huts. You start out with a stick hut and the trading post for, for purchase. Now the trading post is brand new, just came through on their last update. The stick hut is what you'll focus on to begin with as you upgrade, new huts become available. Next is your food. So you start out with your fishing place and your hearth, which you can use to cook. And your production, is a crafter and a skin drying rack. And probably the most important is storage. And last but not least, your religion tab. Now we do have a grave and the large upright stone, which is their worshiping stone and the primitive temple. As you begin to upgrade your technologies, you will see brand new items inside of these tabs. In the lower right hand corner is our action tabs. Now these are gather, cut, cut completely, hunt, cancel, and destruct. I'm gonna show you a couple examples of how to gather. Now there's a couple different ways to use these tabs. So like if I want to gather uh, the flax right here, all I could do is I could click on each individual one, there's also some grapes, and hit auto cut and that means the settlers when it's available will automatically come over and cut this down we can individually cut these right there so you'll see the little mark will come up the settler will go up and begin to cut the regular cut only cuts the grapes out of this bush cut completely will cut the entire bush down so you want to make sure you decide whether you want to harvest from that particular plant again or whether you're clearing the area gathering is one of the easier things to do so we're going to go up here at the stone so same thing applies you can click on the limestone or on the stone or on the clay or whatever it may be and you can click gather a settler will walk over and gather that one section. Another way to gather items is to click the gather button here, click and drag over what you want them to gather, and it will automatically select them so you don't have to select them individually. And the same thing works 
for the cut button. Hunt is the exact same way. If we want to hunt this ram here, we could click that button or we can click the hunt button and select right on top. As far as our cancel, all you have to do is hit cancel and you can drag right over and cancel all of those to be cut in the same manner that you did it before. I hope this brief tutorial helped you out. Make sure you comment down below if you have any questions. Make sure you like and subscribe. This is Pope John and I'm out. Later.